let's get you guys some followers to your Twitter account. Here's the Twitter follower module for Mass Planner. All right, so guys, um, one awesome thing about Mass Planner is, and I always rave to people about this, is that it is amazing for building your networks, okay? So if you're interested in gaining a lot of followers, then one way to do that is by following other people and letting them know you're interested, okay? It, on Facebook, I'm not so much of a, a follower, not a follower, but I'm not so much of one to send friend requests, but since Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, some of the other networks are basically meant to be that way, Mass Planner takes advantage of it with this tool, okay? So, or this module, so I say. This comes by default when you uh, purchase Mass Planner. It's one of their default tools. So once you get your five-day, uh, 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 if you do, if you go with the five-day trial, you'll have this module. And I even, it, I even have a little method, okay, that will get you pretty close to a thousand people, if not a thousand people, within a week. So seven days. But since you have a five-day module or five-day trial, uh, we'll see if we, how many people we can get you. But anyway, <laughs> here's how it goes. So. Once again, with your Mass Planner module, you have a setting here for your um, default as far as minutes per operation. So as, as default, okay, Mass Planner, I set it, and you can change these again. Um, I have some information, definitely have some information on this. So let me know if you want to know the, um, the best settings for gaining more, the maximum amount of followers on Twitter. All right. But what you want to do here, guys, is, um, or should I say, what this, what this means, and this, these numbers and everything like that to make it easier for you guys, is Mass Planner is going to wait by default 45 and 90 minutes, okay, before it follows two to 15 people, okay, per operation. All right, it's going to follow a minimum, a maximum, sorry, of 300 people per day, 350, okay, and the tool will stop for zero minutes after zero follows. It will do this all day, okay. What you need to understand, and as I say, always do your research and ask me if you want, you know, this information because I'll give it to you um, for the maximum setting so you can get the maximum amount of people following you back. Okay, so basically with this setting here, if say for instance, and I go over this all the time, if you're following, if your limit is like 350, you have this following 24 seven, which, you know, there's a little secret that I can tell you about not having to do that. But if you're having it follow 24 seven, then of course you're going to get to 350 pretty soon, depending on your settings. So what you want to do is make sure that um, you search Google and find out what the daily limits are for following people on Twitter. Okay. And once you find those settings, you might want to say, okay, say for instance, it's, uh, I don't know, let's throw a number out there, 90 an hour. Okay. So, or actually a hundred an hour, I think maybe. Okay. But Twitter only allows you a maximum of, and I'll tell you this, I mean, this is like nothing that's, that's, that's new, but Twitter only allows you a maximum of um, 2,000 people to follow it, allow you to follow 2,000 people. So you can do that in a day if you can, you can do it in an hour if you can. But if you're setting this with Mass Planner and you want to set it along a daily basis or such like that to seem more natural and not as much like a machine, <laughs> then you want to like, you know, go and do a bit of research. And as I said, I can give you that information. All right. So with these settings here in place as default, okay, you can set it so that it doesn't pick up, it doesn't search for users that the user, I'm sorry, the user must have a profile image so it's not going to have the little egg you know and such like that the user have you can set it to make sure that the user has a certain amount of tweets okay by default it's set for 50 you can set that lower if you want you can set it higher okay the user must have a bio that has a minimum of how many characters you can set this for however many characters you want it to have all right user bio username must not contain any invalid key any invalid words okay what you can put in here is and this is kind of like um i if you've been watching these but this is an, exclu an exclusion, okay? So if um, you're searching for a certain keyword, say for instance, it could be social media marketing, you may wanna make sure that their bio doesn't have um, social media marketing coach or expert or something like that because you may be wanting to approach people that are, that are just looking for general social media marketing information, okay? So that's where you put those keywords and as I said, you can separate them by comma. So basically it'll be like social media Okay, and um, okay, and just make sure that when you're searching, you're not finding that, that bit of information there. Okay, the user has a ratio of followers to, I mean, followers to following. Okay, 
This part, I'm not going to lie, I'm not great with math, guys, but um, you can pretty much figure this out. And I'll give you, I'll supply you with more information. But this is kind of like the Twitter settings here. So you're going to have like either a one to one following ratio, okay, a one one point two, or you know, you can you can set it here, and this is where you would set that information, guys. All right, by here. So um, once again, I we can get you more information in the Math Planner group. Okay, I'm defaulting to that with this one because, like I said, I'm bad with math. All right, um, and this feature here, I love it. So user tweet it within the last how many days so this is perfect for finding dead accounts all right normally people a normal person would search would tweet so many times per week right or per time maybe per day if you want to find really active people this is how you find them so if you want to find a person that's like really engaging then you'd set this to one okay that means they're tweeting every day okay if you want to find a person that's like casual tweeting you might want to set this to three Okay, you can change those options here, guys. This is like a beautiful feature for Mass Planner that allows you to um, pinpoint people by the amount of, amount of like when they they last tweeted. Okay, to see how active they are. All right. Once again, also you can set it to uh, do this on different days of the week. So if you don't want this action to happen on Sunday, then just hit Sunday. It's going to tick it off. Okay, and so forth and so on here. All right, we're not going to go here yet. Remember. <laughs> all right. So the follow sources. You can follow people using keywords, okay, these are your hashtags and such like that, and as I always tell you guys, um, Mass Planner has an awesome feature where you could just click here on the name of your account, it's gonna open the embedded browser, okay, once the embedded browser opens, let's see, let's see, let's see, okay, there it goes, and let's see if it, um, it actually opens, okay, and once again, guys, if it has the little white um, section here, just simply click here where it says click to open um, Twitter, Okay, it's gonna refresh refresh down here. It's gonna open your actual Twitter account so that you can see what's going on. But the reason why I'm saying to do this, guys, is because what you wanna do is you wanna use this, this Twitter search field, okay, and, and use this for the purpose of searching for keywords. So just like I, I showed you before with like Google Plus and all these other ones, you type in here and you start searching for your, um, your keywords, okay, using this window, and it'll let you know what the general response is gonna be. All right, and you can do that pretty much for all of these. So follow uh, friends of targeted accounts. <laughs> what you do is you'd find a friend, like say for instance here, um, we're friends, uh, Shelly Kramer. Shout out to Shelly Kramer. If I wanted to follow the friends of Shelly Kramer, what I simply do is I copy Shelly Kramer's link. Okay, and this is another great trick of Mass Planner. Click here where it says enable manual browsing and you see the link comes up of whatever page I'm on. So I would copy that page or that link Okay, and I could go back here, sorry, go back here to Mass Planner, follow up friends, up, okay, and just add the account there. Come on, machine. <laughs> Sometimes this happens when you're recording, guys, it gets really slow. Okay, but you do it like that. Okay, you follow, you can follow friends of friends. Okay, so this is going to follow friends that are already friends with me. You can follow friends from provided list. Okay, and this is awesome, guys, because open the embedded browser again. Shelly has some list here. So if I click on where it says list, okay, it's going to show me the list that she has. So once again, I could click here. You see it shows the list. I take that link. Shelly, you're an excellent example. I'm glad I'm following you as a friend. And then I paste that link in there. Okay. You can follow members from Twitter list. Okay. Which once again, if you search in like, say for instance, this is a big group here. Um, and just like Shelly's, it'll give you the friends from that list as well. All right, and you follow those people. Boom. Okay, you see it'll list it there. Boom, and you just do it one per line, um, as I've told you guys in the past. And that's how that will work. Okay, I'm gonna untick these because I'm not gonna do these actions right now. Um, but just as a hint, guys, I'm gonna tell you this. Um, well, actually, wait, I'm not gonna tell you that right now <laughs> because I have something else to show you. So, all right, you choose whichever one you're gonna do. You can do a combination of keyword, um, friends, you can do all of these at the same time if you want. It's up to you, all right? I prefer, okay, just because of the way that this whole thing works and keywords work, I prefer not doing keyword searches. Um, and just simply because when you do the keyword search sometimes, um, you'll get a lot of everything. And people put things in their keyword. They stack their, their, their profiles so that you'll follow them based on keywords in their profiles. I'd rather follow people that are active and... When I say that, I'd rather follow 
provided list. Okay, and a provided list, um, what you do is you're basically following not targeted accounts. Okay, you're following the friends of targeted accounts. So, um, hold on, let me show you here. Do, 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 do. So if I put in here, like say for instance, this is a list here, okay? This would actually, and I, put, I, I did this wrong, guys. I did this wrong um, by accident. But you see here where it shows you Barack Obama. What this would do, if I say follow people from a provided list, if I say follow Barack Obama, okay, and I'll try to paste one of these links in here. I think I may have one. Okay, I can delete some of this. So what this will do is, if I delete all of this text here and I just leave it as her name, this is actually going to follow the friends of her, or the followers, I'm sorry, of her account. So whoever is following her, it's going to follow those people, all right? You're probably wondering, like, okay, isn't that the same as the friends of targeted account? No, no. The friends of targeted account is different. Um, if you're following them from a list, okay, friends of targeted account is basically the ones that they're following, Okay. If you want to follow the people that are following them, you'd use this one, okay? And I've had the most response with this one, guys. I mean, I'm not going to give you all the answers, but if you think about it, and if you <laughs> want more information, get with me. But definitely, um, when you're wanting to follow a lot of people, use this action here, okay, and, and follow people there, all right? After you've set your settings, okay, and it started following people, under results, okay, you'll see daily how many people it's followed and such like that. And guys, the follow action on Twitter, I'm going to tell you, it's Twitter is not as um, active right now because of Periscope and some of the other modules, or not modules, but some of the other uh, programs out there, Instagram maybe. But still, Twitter is really good. I mean, if you want to build a following, you want to have like a very professional following, then Twitter is really good. So that's the, um, let me uncheck these so I don't leave those things there. I usually set my, um, I usually set custom settings. And guys, if you want those settings, Contact me. I'll, I'll probably have that somewhere for you guys to get get a hold of. But that's the Twitter follow um, setting for Mass Planner. I'll talk to you guys in the next video.